Star Trek Discovery, newly announced, both viewers and producers on the show. Mm -hmm. What is your measure of success for the show in terms of, what, mm. let's say, after the first season's over, it will be a success if... It, uh, sorry, um, just because this is how I've lived my life, it'll be someone coming up to any one of us and saying, that was awesome. I never looked at it that way, but I'm now inspired to, to do something different about it, you know? Someone who's just inspired to live a better life. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's very poignant. I think the idea of being able to somehow influence, transform, or change any given person, if not hopefully a lot of people, um, make them think, um, make them act. Um, if they're you know, just that's, entertained. That's the key to Star Trek, I think. Yeah, if they're just entertained, I don't think we've done our job. Yeah. So do you, since you two are sort of representing Roddenberry and Gene Roddenberry, do you feel some responsibility no. <laughs> to, to, do you feel a responsibility to sort of make sure his vision is you know, properly represented in the new show? Absolutely. Yeah, still a no, yeah. no question. Yeah. I mean, I think that uh, making sure that, um, you know, and doing our best to think about the idea of, okay, you know, what, what's a, sort of allowable um, and what continues what Gene uh, created on and what also... Do we have to say, hey, it's a different time, it's a new evolution, it's a new incarnation, you know, um, things have to change as well and progress. So I think it's, um, it's, uh, you know, it's difficult to figure out exactly uh, where that leads, but uh, we're doing our best and we're really excited about where we're going. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, ditto. <laughs> ditto. <laughs> ditto. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so in, you know, Star Trek hasn't been on television for over a decade yeah. now. Uh, and it's all about, as we heard a lot from everyone in the panel it's all about pushing boundaries inspiring people you know how in 2017 do you continue to push those boundaries well, I think in many ways um, first one being you know the, the way in which it's being put out there you know through CBS all access is, is one way um, but I, I think they're really gonna push a lot of boundaries with characters with stories with uh, you know Brian Brian knows Star Trek and and he's an incredibly smart guy so he gets it he's gonna he's gonna do it justice I'm, I have no doubts I, I think that you know you push boundaries with Star Trek by sim you know continuing the tradition of Star Trek which is to deal with uh, circumstances or issues and really explore mm -hmm. the human experience final question what would you say is the mission of the USS Discovery Good question. Is it too obvious to say discover? To discover? Is that too too well, close? Well, sure, sure. And I, I'd say not just discovering aliens and new planets necessarily, but discovering things about ourselves. You know, that's Star Trek has always been about that. Mm -hmm. So I, I think you'll get a lot of that in the new show.